Hey guys, PMC Mods here with our first tutorial. This is how to take apart a PS3 controller. Eventually, later on, we're going to have some tutorials on how to do some LEDs with middle button, the buttons, even some rumble sensitive LEDs. Just want to show you how everything's done, you know. But um, I want to talk to you guys first about a great gaming site called 5starGamers.com. I'll uh, leave a link in the description for you guys to all go check it out. Um, and also the digital board. It's a great computer website. has everything like with coding, has hardware, anything you can think of with about computers, TVs. Yeah, just go there. I'll leave the link again in the description. But um, a friend from Five Star Gamers actually wanted me to do this tutorial. His uh, name is Dubfu. You guys should check him out. He's an admin there. So uh, let's get started. So we have, to start off with, we have uh, five screws right here, right here, right here, right here, and right here. And what you need is you need a Phillips head screwdriver, a small one. Got this one at Radio Shack. It's an awesome one. It came with like torque screws, so it's a torque screwdriver, so you could take apart Xboxes if you want. Um, basically, it's an, an all around electronic great screwdriver kit, so you guys should go pick it up. So I'm just going to unscrew this. Oh, you want to keep track of your screws. You don't want to lose them. But um, this is an older style PS3 controller, just so you know. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the first one. But um, they're basically all the same. Just the ribbon cable inside is different. But they're all pretty easy. These things are tricky. Whatever. But, um, what you need to do now is, you notice it won't open, it'll only open a little bit. You need to, there's a clip on the bottom, I don't know if you guys will hear this, but you'll hear it snap. And then you just lift up very gently. I'd ha I'd take it off by the backing, just because it's easier. You just take this, put it off to the side. So, um, here's where you have the battery, the motherboard and all the buttons underneath it. So you want to just flip the battery up. There might be a tray, there might not be. Flip the battery up, put the tray to the side, and just pull it out very gently. You don't want this to break. But if it does, you can just contact me and I'll teach you how to solder it back. But um, here's the buttons up top. What you want to do is there's black part right here and right here. You just, just take them out, put them to the side, and these the R1 and L1 buttons just slip right out too. Do not try to take these R1 and R2 and L2 buttons out yet. Just because they're attached to the ribbon cable. So I don't know if you can see this. Let's see if this can focus. But there's a screw right here. You need to take that out. All the screws are the same size so it doesn't matter. But, um, once you get that out, a little bit of trouble, put this down, make sure you don't lose it. So now here's the tricky part. Well, it's not really tricky, but you want to make sure all the buttons stay in here. It's just so much easier to put it back together later. But, um, you want to lift up, and you can see the R2 and L2 button just flop down basically and slipped out but here is the motherboard the plastic piece and the ribbon cable on the other side what you want to do you want to flip this around you can take off the analog sticks they just slip right off you want to gently lift this up you, you might have to maneuver it a little bit
It's a little tricky. There it is. So, on the older style style boards, you'll see it's like a ribbon cable that's attached. You have to sl actually slide it in. So, what you want to do is you want to just gently pull it out, and it comes right off, and you can just put it right to the side. On the newer style ones, I just took one apart the other day, actually this one, um, and it has a ribbon cable that's basically attached to it by pressure and a little rubber pad. That's a lot easier to take off. It's a lot easier, but um, you want to be careful for this little chip down here. You don't want to break that off. Um, yeah, that's about it. That's how you uh, take a PS3 controller apart. But um, here's some stuff that I've been doing. Like you can see the middle button is a rainbow. These three up top are rumble sensitive to the right and this one's rumble sensitive to the left. So um, yeah, check out 5 Star Gamers and the digital board and you guys have a very good uh, gaming computer, whatever. <laughs> Alright, thanks.